Hello everyone, I am playing Deity. It's a creepy game about um a master thief who goes into this abandoned mansion. Although there's a light on in here, so I don't know, whatever. Let's go. Just over a year ago, I did a Let's Play video of a game I thought was pretty intriguing. Now, it did have its flaws, and I shamelessly pointed each and every one of them out. Still, it's a brilliant example of how friendly the adventure game studio can be. The fact that this game was its creator's first use of the engine is really impressive. But I don't want to focus so much on the game itself, so much as the games it borrowed from. In this case, both Yahtzee's Five Days a Stranger and Clock Tower for the SNES. This makes Deity the perfect debut piece for a sub-series I'd like to try in which I compare a more obscure indie game to the game or games that inspired it. I call it... Um, Domathan's thing where like he compares some games and stuff. Oh, that wasn't very good. I'll have to figure out the title thing later. Anyway. The first and most obvious source of inspiration for Deity comes from Yahtzee's Five Days a Stranger. Both of the main characters in each of these games are master thieves trying to break into a supposedly abandoned mansion. They also both contain themes of supernatural horror. While many games in the AGS community are compared to Five Days a Stranger, Deity is perhaps the most obviously inspired by it. I mean, if the story weren't enough, just take a look at the title screens of each game. Each depicts this giant mansion, the shadowy figure that is our main character, and this hilly landscape. Even parts of the in-game world are copied to a T. The difference between each of these though is obviously in the story. Deity unfortunately lacked the storytelling power of Five Days a Stranger. In fact, while playing through the game, some of the more careless mistakes in the writing of Deity really got in the way of the immersion of the game. However, Deity did borrow an element from another game that I thought worked very well. One of the antagonists in the game Clock Tower for the SNES is Bobby, who wields a giant pair of scissors and chases you around the house. Once again, Deity, in a kind of unoriginal fashion, has an antagonist that follows you around the house named Bobby as well. But, unoriginal or otherwise, it actually worked very well. You'll see times in my Let's Play where, in between all the mocking of the semi-poor writing in places, I was actually genuinely nervous when Bobby would come around. It encourages a neat style of gameplay shown here, where you kinda have to figure out where to hide, or how to run, or basically any other way to escape, no matter what you have to do. While Deity didn't pull it off as well as Clock Tower did, it did do a very good job of at least coming very close. Just check this out. While it's not as disturbing, it does have a very distinct, creepy feel about it. Overall, while Deity was heavily influenced by other games, it did do a solid job of making some elements its own.